This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. One thing I've read online is that there is a potential problem with the mattress and the board that is sitting on with our mattresses growing mildew in between. When I get back, I'll tell you why and I'll tell you what I've done to prevent it. Okay, so one of the things that you have to remember is hot air meeting cold air can create condensation. That's why sometimes on hot summer days our windows fog up um, and get water dripping down the inside if, if it's too much of a difference. And the same thing can happen in, in cold periods when you've got the heat cranked up in here and you've got cold air in, in the outside meeting together. Um, in my case, with the twin beds, um, we got the twin beds so we would have more exterior storage. But with that, with one of the compartments here, one of the compartments here, and one of the compartments here, you can cause, the, when the heat is on inside, the, the moisture, the, the heat doesn't get in those compartments. So the cold air gets in those compartments, the hot air from inside and from laying on the bed creates a moisture in between the mattress and the wood that the mattress is sitting on. There are, there are a bunch of products um, that are available that you can put in between the mattress and the piece of wood deck that it's on um, that will give, give a, a, a way for the air to, to circulate underneath the mattress, keeping that area um, conditioned as well. And you won't have um, any mildew or anything like that growing in between your mattress and the wood base. Now let me show you what I got. So I got my mattresses from Mattress Insider. A couple years back, we replaced our stock ones. And they also sell this stuff called Hypervent Airflow. And what this is, is a polymer that holds its shape. It resists moisture. It's made to go underneath the mattress. It will retain its shape. And what it does is allow circulation to flow to keep that moisture um, from building up between the mattress and the wood. Um, like I said before, Without some sort of um, way to get rid of that moisture, it just builds up in between the mattress and the wood while you sleep over the years and eventually leads to mildew and it'll ruin your mattress and, and make that and help make that musty smell that we've all smelt in old homes or, or, or basements or places like that. It's not very expensive. It's easy. You cut it with scissors, um, lay your mattress down, mark around it, cut it set it in place underneath your mattress, you're all done. Um, no fuss, no muss. You can take this out, you can wash it, um, and you can use water on it to, to wash it if, if you need to. I'm probably not gonna ever do anything with it. Put it on our mattresses. Um, I'm gonna put this down in the basement and, and let it um, sit, because it comes rolled and tightly in a, in a long box like this. Um, so I wanna let it, let it um, flatten out so I can easily mark it and cut it. Uh, throw the leftovers away and basically just set it in between the mattress. Um, put the fabric side up to, to protect your mattress. Um, the other side down against the wood. Um, it's not very heavy. I mean, this whole bundle for both mattresses is probably the weight of a, of a big comforter or something like that. Okay, so basically I take one of the mattresses here. I lay it down on the material, I trace it with a marker, and then I cut it out using a pair of uh, heavy duty scissors, and it comes out looking like that. Now keep in mind that if you want to do the fabric up for both mattresses, which it doesn't come with directions, but I assume the fabric's supposed to be up. Um, but either way, whether the fabric's up or down, that you're gonna to have to reverse them if you use a single mattress like I did. And I wrapped it in plastic, to make sure that I don't, um, um, th this is actually one of the one of the stock ones that came with it that we replaced. But I've wrapped it in plastic and kept it. It's, it's basically brand new. Um, but if you only use one, you have to flip it to draw the curve because the curves are reversed. Um, so I'm gonna cut this out, put them under the new mattresses, and show you what it looks like. All right. So on the um, driver's side or the curb side of the camper. 
I've replaced the lower piece of plywood. Um, <clears throat> I never liked how the plywood was right up to the edge of the mattress. The mattress kind of felt like it wrapped over. So I basically, I took the original plywood, which was this line here, and I added a few inches on there. Um, it makes it a little better when you're sitting on the edge of the bed um, in order to, uh, it doesn't like feel like you're sliding off. So, I mean, these things are pretty simple to install. I did, I made it the size of the, I made it the size of the mattress because I didn't want it sticking out down here. So let me go ahead and throw the mattress back on here and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I got it in place. I did cut a little bit off the end um, just because it was sticking out past the mattress a little bit. When I, when I did my mark, I, you know, I didn't account, I did, I did draw the mark and I straight down, I didn't account for the taper of the mattress. Um, plus I wanted a more of a finished looking edge in here. I didn't want to have the, this, this sticking out like that. Um, <clears throat> now there is a fabric flap on the end. So let me set this piece up here. So there is a fabric flap on this side that goes along. As you can see, I've went ahead and I tucked that flap under. Basically just, just did like that. Just to have like a, like a nicer edge here. Now, this is just a mattress cover um, we put on just to protect the mattress. Um, it's just a standard twin size, so it is really loose. Um, once you put your blankets and your sheets and all that stuff on there, um, you won't even see that this membrane is there, yet it'll still give enough room for air to flow under there. Um, I think it's a good, good product to add. It wasn't crazy expensive. Um, the mattresses weren't crazy expensive, but they are an investment, and I want to protect our investment. And the one thing I don't want to get is any type of mold or mildew type um, problems inside of my camper for that, that I could have prevented with something simple like this. Anyway, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, and I'll see you on the next trip.